This is the second program in the series Finding, Organizing and Using Medical Information created by the Network of African Medical Librarians and Deans with support from the U.S. National Library of Medicine, Bethsaida, Maryland. Hello, my name is Tembani Malapela. I'm a medical librarian at the College of Health Sciences at the University of Zimbabwe. I'm going to take you through the module Searching Tools. Imagine yourself you want to buy a new car or a new smartphone. What model are you going to choose? Which brand are you going to choose? You agree with me that a catalog will come in handy to help you make your decision. Health scientists are faced with similar problems in trying to research and find exact information that they want. Today I'm going to discuss with you a number of tools that can be used to retrieve specific health information in different sources. Think of each tool as a hook that will help you to fish out the specific information that you would want. As we go through the module, we'll discuss with you each tool vis-a-vis -vis each source of information. The first tool that we are going to discuss is a library catalog. A library catalog is an important tool for you to retrieve information from a library holding. You would need author, subject, or title as entry points that will help you to retrieve the specific information from a library holding. Most catalogs are available online now. You can log to the catalog and use those three entry points to retrieve information. A catalog now does more. It can link you to electronic books and electronic journals from that particular library from other or other related libraries which are linked to that library catalog. The second two that we are going to discuss are indexes and abstracts. Indexes and abstracts enable you to retrieve information from journals especially specific journal articles that you want in a specific article. Many users have a challenge of retrieving a specific articles in the area of interest. What an index does, it provides you with key bibliographic information that you would need to, for you to find the specific article in a specific journal title. What an abstract does, it provides you more. It also provides you an abstract of the article or also a review of that specific article. A popular example of an index service is the African Index Medicus, which you can get online on http colon two forward slashes indexmedicus.afro.who.int. Currently, that index indexes articles from more than 140 journal titles in Africa. The third tool that we are going to look at is search engines. Search engines are a tool for you to retrieve information from the internet. What a search engine does, they crawl the internet to search documents and articles with a specific uh, link to the key term that you might have punched in. There are three types of search engines that one can use, a free text search engine, a web directory, and a meta search engine. In the free text search engine, and a popular example that people use is Google, which is found on www.google.com. Search engines are also available which are specifically designed for health sciences, examples being Omni Medical Research, Entrez, and Go PubMed. The fourth tool that we are going to discuss are gateways. Gateways are defined as a node or network that serves an as an entrance to another network. These are created by humans and specialists who surf the internet and provide links to different sources of information. Examples of health-related gateways are Medline Plus, Medscape, and Global Health Library. Now I'm going to move on to another tool that is very important, is a database. Databases are tools that enable you to retrieve information from different sources. There are different types of databases, bibliographic databases, full text databases, numeric databases, databases and hybrid databases. And we also talk of evidence-based databases in the health sciences. An example of a bibliographic database that is common in the field of health sciences is the PubMed which comprises more than 19 million citations to journal articles and research materials in the biomedical sciences. 
The next tool that is kindly gaining uh, popularity are portals. A widely known example of a portal is Hinari from the WHO, World Health Organization. Hinari stands for Health Internet Work Access to Research Initiatives. And Hinari can be retrieved online from www.who.int forward slash Hinari. For one to log on to Hinari, you would need an institutional username and password. Where do you get an institutional username or password? If you ask your librarian, you will get the username for your institution and the password, which you can use to log on to the screen page as provided on the above link. Currently, Hinari offers more than 7,500 journal titles and access to a number of health electronic books and other electronic reference work. So Hinari is a is a good tool for people to use to search for a variety of information over different uh, health sources. Another tool that is gaining popularity are free electronic journals. Electronic journals are now currently available free and you would need a tool for you to link to those different type of titles of journals. Examples of tools that you can use to retrieve free electronic journals are the Free Medical Journals website, available on www.freemedicaljournals.com, the Biomed Central, the PubMed Central. These provide a link of wealthy journal articles which you do not need to purchase. Most organizations are digitizing their collections. Gray literature has been mentioned in module one of this series. In those institutional repositories, Gray literature is available on digital institutional repositories. Institutional repositories are a very good tool that can be used to retrieve information that is pertaining to a particular institution. I have discussed with you a number of tools which you might also need to review, but there are also some other tools that you might need to need to know for you to research information. I encourage you to visit your librarian who would offer you advice which other tools that you can consult. I'd like to thank you for listening to this module and for paying attention as we discussed through this module. Please see all the seven training programs in our YouTube series.